Hey y'all, what's T? It's your boy B by D and welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually going to vlog and I know this lighting is not that good. I'm sitting in my kitchen, I'm drinking my breakfast. Girl, my breakfast, coffee, lemon, hot water. Anyways, and today is a very special day. It is August 24th. It is currently nine in the morning. And guess what we're doing? You guessed it, we're gonna sign my lease for my new studio location. So I've been practicing Beat by D Studio here in my house in the basement. It's a very nice, spacious room, but it's time for me to go to the business side where I can promote a little bit better. The reason why I decided to go to a commercial place was because since I live in a residential area, it won't let me promote myself how I want to, like on Google. I can't do like Groupon deals. I can't run a lot of ads because of me being in a residential area. And I've been looking at locations for the past week because I finally narrowed it down and I was like, you know what, this is what I want. I think I looked at around six locations and I finally found the one. And then yesterday, the gentleman called me. He was like, hey, we met on Saturday. What did you decide? And obviously I knew when I walked in that that was a place, but you know, you can't show that the interest is there because you know, as a realtor, you can't be like, ooh, no. So I was just like, okay, let me get back to you on Monday. But he called me and then he told me that he would give me the remaining uh, days of August plus September for free. And then I just pay him October's rent. And then after that, then I just keep paying him every month on the first, which I'm excited for. And the space is gonna be really nice. Last night, I actually like planned it out in my head. I actually, I think I left my iPad upstairs, but I actually drew it already, like how I want everything to be because I just want it to be <laughs> awesome. And I think I'm gonna do a grand opening in October 1st. And the reason is because since it's gonna be a commercial place, I do need to register with the state of Illinois. And then they have to send an inspector, the health inspector to inspect everything and then I need to get licensed. So that takes like three to four weeks. So in the meantime, I'll be able to decorate everything how I want it. And I'm definitely gonna change the color scheme. The current studio, the theme was green, gold, black, and then pops of pink. So this time it's gonna be a whole different. You guys, you guys will see. Right now when I get there, I'll definitely show you guys around. It's a really prime corner location, which is something that I was looking at. And there's literally a mall two blocks away. And then there's Costco right there. So you know a lot of people are going to Costco. So that's what we need. And then there's a bank right in front. And then there's another bank right next door. So I am excited. Let me finish my breakfast. And then once I get there, I will show you guys around. But in the meantime, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. You guys, I'm literally whispering because I'm so excited. But we did something. We did something. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. But it's a very spacious studio. I'm so excited. And I have the corner lot, which means I'm close to everything. Like literally, I have washer and dryer right there, emergency exit, restroom, and I have a waiting area. Look at God. Low key, I wanted that one, but that one was double the price because it's really big, but this is the biggest one he has. And it's really good. And then it came with the big mirror. It came with the chair, the bowl. And then since I'm not a hairstylist, I don't need none of the extra stuff. I'm just measuring what I want to do. I'm thinking of getting a mural done right here with my logo right there. Be by D Studio, but really big. And then, I don't know if I wanna do greenery in the corners, but it's really nice. And then I'm gonna cover the windows just so I have privacy. That big window, this window right here. I'm literally so excited. I'm excited, y'all. Yeah, I can see me right there. Let me show you guys the finished studio. I'm actually whispering because I'm outside and I don't know if people are walking around. But this is my waiting area right here. This is the entrance so as you guys can see I blocked it off 
I'll show you guys from the inside. And then I put my logo, and then it says makeup artist and permanent makeup artist, Studio 14. Right next to it says brow slips eyeliner. And then it says scan to book, and then don't forget to write a review. So this is my studio. And then I'll show you guys right next to it. The laundry room is right here. Let me turn on the light. Welcome. So I have the laundry, sink, trash, and then everything else. And then over here, I do have the emergency exit. And then the restrooms, women and men. And then I'll show you guys a quick, let me see if there's somebody over here. There's nobody over here, but there are other studios over here. Over here on my end, I'm the corner one. There's one studio next to me. And then the big one right here. We're gonna go inside. Are you guys ready? Close your eyes. Whew. So if you guys remember, it was a blank canvas when I got it. So I'm gonna start from the back. So I made this sticker that says the same thing, brow slips, eyeliner, and all of everything that I offer. And then it says the same thing, don't forget to write a review, scan to book. And I just made the stickers. And then this, I will link it down below. I got it from Amazon. It's the peel and stick with water. And then from the back, it looks like wood. So it matches the door. And then I did put it on the window as well. Now, I'm gonna show you guys first the makeup side. So this fan, the owner actually brought it because I told him that sometimes it gets hot in here and I needed like a little fan. He brought me that fan. This chair is actually the owner's. He let me borrow it. It comes with every studio. And I like it. It's comfortable. And it does go back for my clients. So we're going to talk about my lights. So these lights I got from Amazon. They're from the brand Newer. Where is the brand? So as you guys can see, it says Newer. I will link them down below as well. They were not expensive at all. And then... They're very bright, as you guys can see. They don't get hot at all, which I love. Let me turn them off. And I have two of them. So I have one over there, one over here. So when I'm make, doing my client's makeup, it's very bright. Now, this vanity slash drawer system, I got it from Ikea. And you'll never guess how much I paid for this. Like, literally, I was shook to the core. So they actually discontinued this. So if you go to the S is section at Ikea for the topper. Let me move it forward because it's not on all the way. For the topper and the bottom portion, I paid $50 plus tax. You heard that right. $50 plus tax. And I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I got it like in the beginning of September but I love it before we get into the drawers I'll show you guys what I have on top so I got this one from Target I believe if, if it was not Target I will link it down below where I got it from and I just have like my wedges my puffs my disposable so I have like everything is good in here I have this mirror from Dollar Tree and then I have like my setting sprays right here my Mac Fix Pluses, my uh, cleaning, disinfecting stuff. And then I have this one that says wake up and makeup. So I just have them for when I'm doing someone's makeup. I will just put the dirty brushes or the brushes that I'm using. That way it can be easy access for me to grab. Beauty comes in every color. Galatians 328. And that's true. We do not discriminate here. So don't even play with me. And then I have my nudes up here well my nude lipsticks liquid lipsticks and then my lip glosses in the back my fenty's fenty and then i do have a wireless charger for my clients this one has a samson one i will link it down below as well got this big mirror from ikea i believe it's one of their newer ones i think it was like 90 dollars 
it was kind of pricey but hey it looks really good and then the greenery i will link it down below i also got it from amazon and i looked everywhere because some of them did not look like the green that you needed it looked like very ugly like a fake green but this one looks really good and then let me just show you guys a quick my makeup organization so i have my powders my setting powders i have my pressed foundations i have my foundations over here concealers my palettes down here pat mcgrath and then underneath i have like my brushes i have them stored in here wipes and i have like my disinfecting stuff makeup wipes gloves um whenever i'm doing someone's makeup stuff like that my expo markers and then on this side i do have my eyelashes so i have the um house of lashes all right here lily lashes ardell wispies and then more ardell wispies and then over here i have my um just like my eye stuff so like my sharpener my glue i have my primers my highlights more lipsticks lipsticks different colors my primers all right here and then underneath I do have like my permanent makeup storage so I have let me move this a little bit so I have like my hair caps I have my needles over here gloves my um, numbing more needles this is for my um I make my own little things for like when I do micro needling stuff like that this is my little desk area. I got the desk from Ikea. It's their black and wooded one. It's very nice. I have my keys, Deonce, and then since we're a working girl, we have this mini right there. And then me, obviously, the B. And then I just have my uh, business cards where they can scan. I have my real estate ones, gold digger my brother thought it said gold digger and i was like no baby gold digger and then i say like what payments i take with square and then have my square reader right here and then i have this really nice big mirror i got it from ikea as well so whenever i'm making videos i can check myself and then this chair i also got it from amazon i'll link it down below and then i made my own sign and the greenery is it was part of the set that came with this one but i made my own sign i got the acrylic from amazon and then i just painted the back with acrylic paint and then i used my silhouette to make my words and it just has my logo be by the studio very nice very nice now on this side i do have more displays and if you guys remember on my old studio i had this one plus a single one well i had to eliminate the single one because there was not enough room for it but on the top i just have my um aftercare kit i have my speaker i just have brow deities collection displayed on the top i have my friend's smoky glow collection that she did with her and then i have all my certificates miss pat mcgrath still single lily lashes and then over here i have this very big flag with my logo it is an eight foot by five foot so it's pretty big and then over here i have another acrylic that i also made so i just have like the services that i offer and then i have everything i just painted the back with acrylic paint and then i have my promotions right next to it it's a whole one and i can just i use dry erase markers to change the promotions so i can just erase the top of september and then whatever the promotion is for the month and then i have a trash can right here that i got from target let me show you guys my bed i actually got this bed from amazon i will link it down below it was pricier but it is electric let me show you guys so this electric bed goes up and down and since i'm taller obviously i don't want to be hunched back and it's also more comfortable for my clients that i don't have to like oh can you move forward so i can like move you and stuff no and then it goes back and forth and then the legs go up and down as well and it's very nice and then what i love about it on the bottom 
it does have little connectors for um, USB ports. So I have three ports and then I have regular two USB ones, which I just connect my cables to charge my machines, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then these lights are also really good. These are from newer as well. And I got them from Amazon. And I just press it and I can just arrange it for my client. And they were not too expensive. So that's another thing. And they're very bright. And then my chair, this one was pricey, low key. It was almost $250. I will link it down below. I also got it from Amazon, but it's very comfortable, especially for me. I'm tall. And then I do have, love the back support. And then it has this so I can straddle the bitch. So that's that. And then right next to it, I do have this cart that I got from Ikea. So it's actually a, I think it's like a kitchen cart. And then I just have like my, um, the top one is usually what I cover up whenever I'm gonna work with a client. And then these are the machines that I've been loving. I got two of them. These are technically the silver bullet ones, but I got the black ones. And then I have this one for micro needling. And then this is another one that I use. And then on the bottom, I just have my gloves, my face mask, all my sleeves and all everything that I would need. And then this one I got from Amazon as well. So I needed something that would be able to work really functional for me. So on the top, I have this plant and then I have, so it's technically a coat hanger. So whenever I have clients, if they want to leave their bags, their face mask, whatever they want to do. And then right next to it, it's a really good size because I can put my um, paper towels, hand sanitizer, and my soap right next to it. And then underneath, I have my Sharps container disposal right there. I have some wipes and some Windex. And then on the bottom, I have trash cans. Or on the bottom, I do have trash bags my cabbie wipes, my Clorox wipes, and then more disinfecting stuff. And then I have another small little trash can. So whenever I wash my hands or my clients wash their hands, they can just press it and then it closes on them. And then I do have a large broom and a little broom right there. And then this one, this is my third one that I do have from Ikea. So I really like this size. And then I have another one, like I said, I believe it was from Target or Amazon. I'll link it down below. And then I just have like my needles. One P needle, pigment rings. And I really like these pigment rings because they come with a little sponge so you're not wasting ink. If you're working on a client and then you like move your hand, it doesn't go everywhere. So I really like that. If you guys wanna get them, I will link them down below. I have my one P needles right here. And then I have seven RS, 12 P. My U blades right here. I use different kinds. These are my nano ones, and then these are my regular sized U-Blade from Tina Davies. And then more blades right here, Fire Us. And then these are the remotes that go with my lights. I have a timer, I got this from the Dollar Tree. So whenever I'm numbing them, I can just set the timer. And then I have my little disposable eyebrow rulers. I have a mirror right here, more microblading tools. And then underneath, I do have like a basic um, henna brows, just in case somebody wants to see what they will look like before they get the procedure done. And then I have everything labeled, especially for the state, they need to see that everything is labeled. So I have my Q-tips, micro Q-tips, cotton rounds, and then I have my um, spoolies. On the bottom, I do have more disposable inventory. This is another AC unit, just in case I want to use it. I have barbicide and then I have soap. And then on the bottom over here, I have dental bibs and pillowcases. I actually use this to cover up my bed. And then I do use clean wrap as well. And then on the bottom, I do have barrier tape that I use to protect everything. More marking tools. And I got this from Target. It wasn't a set, everything was separately. And then I just have my witch hazel, distilled water, soap and water, alcohol. And then I, this was a set. So this came as a set when I got it from Target. And I just have my pigment cups, 
mix and sticks hair caps and these are actually toothpicks the plastic ones but i use them for mixing sticks and then in the top i do have my pigments i have my color correctors and then i do have other pigments lip pigments numbing tattoo removal and micro needling stuff and i got this funny thing from target and then i got this from amazon it disinfects my tool so i have barbicide and water but this is the overall overview of my new studio so if you guys are in the chicagoland area make sure to check out my website bbydstudio.com and i am located in st charles but it's a really nice studio like i love it especially how it turned out